Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Hold on. You already know the vibes, man. It's Money Game DD, aka DDF Baby Head, and you are watching Drop the Heat. My album DDF Baby is out on all platforms right now: Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, Tidal, etc. Go so tune in, lock in. You dig what I'm saying? Drop the heat on a very special edition right here at AN Studios. <laughs> Who are you, man? First and foremost. Oh, yeah, it's Money Ain't DD, aka DDF Baby, aka you gonna hear about me real soon. <laughs> Money Gang DD, what's good, my sister? Oh my God. What's going on, man? How's everything? Everything is good, everything is great. You coming off the release of your project, Money? Money Gang DD, uh, DDF, DDF Baby? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I listened to the whole project already. Out of 10, I give that shit a solid nine and a half, almost a 10, bro. You know why? Yeah, like you know why I give it that? Because I love that lane in music. I love, I love the, I love the, bro. Your music is fire. Like a lot of people, when they listen to your music, they be like, "Yo, who's this?" And I gotta put, I gotta put niggas onto you all the time. I, I noticed that the Shazams is up right now. The yeah. Shazam, the shit yeah. show me on my Apple Music shit. The Shazams is up. That means people hearing it and be like, "Oh, who this?" Pull out the phone, so I appreciate that, bro. You know, I put, I put work in this shit. Real quick, tell them who Money Gang Diddy is. Like, where you from? Why you started this? Give them a, a quick background of who you are. Wow. Uh, yeah, Money Gang Diddy. <laughs> it's going to take a while, though, because I've been doing this for a long time, bro. I ain't going to lie. You feel me? I'm from Alverna, New York. That's like... You know, a lot of people don't know about that town. They be like, where's that? Is that upstate? No, it's not. It's basically uptown, damn near. And some of our legends include Heavy D. Diddy moved out here as a kid and was raised out here. Denzel Washington. You know, those are just a, those are just a few, to say the least. Me, myself, and a few up-and-coming artists, like, you know what I'm saying, legendary. Um, when I start doing music, I say I started, like, first going to the studio, probably in, like, ninth grade. But when I start really taking this shit serious, serious, like I probably say in the past two, three years, honestly, I've been making music for years, but I never took heed to the part of like to the business side, to the fact, to the point like that this music shit is it's all fun as a hobby. But if you want to get some money out of it, you got to take it serious. So I only been taking this serious for like three years, bro. Okay. I've been seeing. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I feel like. You have music that's on your SoundCloud that's even older than three years. I'm not gonna lie, and I've heard that type of stuff to see the way your sound has changed over time, and it has. Can I ask you why you change that sound every every time? Is that what artists do all the time, or do you change your sound because people are taking your sound? That's part of it. We gonna get to that, but I, I think that um me what, what separates me from other artists was I was broke when I started doing music, like when I started like really doing it, and I used to just record myself. Mm -hmm. So that's how I was able to put out so much music on SoundCloud. You feel me? Yeah. I was in the crib every day recording myself, recording like giving out studio time for other artists, and my sound just developed that way because my my like my preference in music to listen to is so is so wide. It's like I like so many different types of music. So at one point, I was just rapping and being afraid to use the melodic side because of the whole New York stigma, and being afraid to not sound like I'm to sound like I'm like to not sound like I'm from New York. Like you know what I'm saying? But I always been a little singing ass kid. Like literally singing. People who tell me go to American Idol shit like that. So that's why my sound really changed because I start. Really, just showing who I am, like melodically. The type of music I'm inspired by is, is like R&B shit. I listen to a lot of R&B music, bro. I barely listen to like rap shit. Like I don't really listen to music if it ain't melodic. You feel me? But I used to be opposite of that. I used to be on my straight lyrical shit, like literally bars, like like little real bars. Like you know what I'm saying? So I think that's why my sound changed. And niggas definitely took my sound so many times. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, some niggas just keep it a thousand and say, yo, my fault, I was inspired by you, and I respect them niggas and still fuck with them niggas to this, to this day. But that also forces you to want to be more, you know, creative with your music. Diverse. Yeah, you feel me? Instead of, because, like, I, I probably should stick to my sound if I did it first, but I just don't want to sound want nobody sounding like me, bro. So I try to, you know, I try to be different, but it's getting hard now, though. Music game getting saturated. Everybody named mom jumping in this shit, putting auto-tune on and just saying whatever. <laughs> But I was doing auto tune when it was getting hated on. Like I used to get hated on for doing auto tune. You feel me? Because it wasn't a New York 
thing, bro. It wasn't like popping. Like niggas used to violate me. Like you know what I'm saying? Literally. And now look at the temperature. That's why I named my project DDF Baby. I feel like I'm Little Wayne in my city, bro. Because when Little Wayne first started, Ooh! When Wayne first started that shit, you gotta remember Stop playing. they Yo. was violating yeah. Wayne at first. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? And Talk your same shit. Same with me though. They was violating me, but now if you look at the temperature out here, all the artists that came after me, I kind of set the tone for that. You feel me? Yeah. Like literally, so that's why I call my project what I called it, and I feel like I just been being humble for too long. Like this, like this year, I cut that humble shit all the way out. Fuck all that. Like that shit don't get you nowhere. Showing a lot of everybody is cool, but that shit don't really get you nowhere. You gotta really, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Leo. You gotta really let these niggas know what time it is, bro. Nobody's gonna give you the praises before you give it to yourself. Nobody's gonna believe in you like you believe in yourself. So that's why I named it that. And it's my first project without no YouTube beats. Yeah. So I feel like. It's my out. That's a big accomplishment. I'm not going to lie. That's a, bro, this is a solid, you know, on, on this, I think it's called Raymond Reddington. Yo, that shit right, that shit right there is a banger. You have a lot of bangers on that, on that album, man. Do you sit down, do you sit down and your writing process, do you like smoke, do you, what do you do so you can make all of these, all of these hits? I got to have weed. I can't even record. Like, if I don't got weed, I'm canceling the session. That's a fact. My yeah, weed man, not answering. I got to cancel because music is therapy to me. I get to come in here and forget about everything that's going on outside of this shit. So when I'm in it, it's not always like I'm just trying to make a fire, like a hit or something. A lot of times I'm just trying to get some shit off my chest. I done sat in front of the mic and cry making my song sometimes. You feel me? You know, so it's like I got to have weed. I don't sit down and write most of the time. 95% of my music is whatever I'm feeling at the time. I just put the mic on and we go punch it in ball for ball. That's something Wayne taught us. You yeah. feel me? We got that from Lil Wayne. You feel me? At the end of the day, that's my, one of my biggest inspirations. So, I, I love like Wayne. I love Wayne, Wayne, bro. I'm not going to lie. He was saying he don't really write. He just going in and made me want to try it. So I tried doing that and realized, like, writing sometimes hold us back a little bit from creativeness. You know, you know, my for interrupting you. You know, when I was, well, I remember, I know what interview you're talking about. I was, I think I was 13 years old, 14 years old when I seen the interview when Wayne said, he didn't write. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't believe him, bro. I couldn't believe him. He's a, he was just so lyrical. But then I I looked up the YouTube videos of Wayne's studio sessions and shit. Him just sipping lean, doing the music. and I'm just like, yo, this is really like a skill that a human could develop over time if you're doing this over time. Like you feel me? If you're in the studio for a long enough time, the pen eventually goes down. I've noticed that. I've seen it throughout the whole New York. Throughout a lot of people doing it. And also, um, I feel like we thought. Wayne meant he was freestyling the whole song at once. Like, that's what we thought when people yeah, would say they yeah, freestyled yeah, yeah. and right. But that's not the case always. Like, maybe a nigga like Jay-Z was doing that, but, like, it's not the case, bro. You sit there, you piece it together. You might say four bars in your head, go rap that eye. You might add more. You might mumble some shit. You might like the melody. You want to fix the words. You might yeah. like the words. You want to fix the melody. But a paper and a pen sometimes, it just... I think what it does is it, it kind of like um, stops you from being creative in the melodic part, not yeah. the words part. You could write the hardest bars, but like your melodies, you can't really write that down. And you definitely not going to remember how you said it if you wrote that shit a week ago. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just didn't like that. I ain't like writing a song and then I got to wait four days to get studio time. By that time, I'm not in that vibe no more. I don't remember how I said it, how I what melody I use, you know? So yeah. it's just better coming fresh off the... And I might not be in that mood no more. What if I wrote a song about a relationship or something? Yeah. And now I'm in... It and I, my girl just broke up with me. I want to talk about that. It'd be you like know? that. Like, yeah, it's, I mean, that's life. Like, sometimes a girl hit me up. I'll be, I'll be in the mood. She hit me up three hours later. I don't even want to yeah. talk to you no more. Like, you know feel me? That's the best part of not writing ahead of time. Whatever you feeling when you in that bitch, that's what's going to come out. You feel me? Like, no cap. I like that. I don't like that, bro. How's um real quick? How's everything? How's everything with um? I know we're doing this interview around um, COVID time. How's your family doing? How's everybody doing with this situation that's going on in New York City right now? I ain't gonna lie, my family is extremely blessed. Mm -hmm. None of us have gotten sick. We're all safe, but we've been taking the precautions, you know, the way we should be. But everyone is good. You know, a lot of my friends though, they lost a lot, they lost a lot of family members and people, but. Mm -hmm. My family, I'm just, you know, I'm happy, bro. We blessed. We good. I was just telling my girl this the other day, like, we really survived this shit. A lot yeah. of niggas ain't make it, bro. No yeah. cap. A lot of people ain't make it, bro. This shit is bad. I'm doing good, though. That's a fact. That's a fact, bro. Before we get out of here, I, want, I mean, before we go on um on break, because we're going to go on break real quick, we're going to play Money Game Diddy Smile video. That shit go hard. That shit go crazy. One of my favorite songs of DDF, baby. I need to ask you a question, bro. When you first, when you first, like, meet certain artists what's the vibe 
because I'm not gonna lie to you, everybody has a different vibe when they meet artists. It's like, oh, it's just it's straight love, or it's I I could I'm gonna see how this nigga is before I step in the booth with him. Like, what's what's how do you decide who to make music with? Is that's the final question? Yeah, that's always important to me. It's really do I just make music with niggas just because they nice? Like, yeah. I definitely gotta feel your energy and feel your vibe because I only want to be in the space with a nigga if our energy don't mix. So that's most important to me, like, you know what I'm saying, fucking with the individual, fucking with the person, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I think that would be it, and then, if you're taking music serious, like, if you don't take music serious, I don't care if you got one good song that's fire, that don't really mean nothing to me, I'm not wasting my verses on yeah. bullshit songs, so if I see a nigga taking it serious, he seemed like a solid dude, he got good energy, we got similar interests, yeah, that's that's, that's what it takes for me to want to lock in with the artist. Yo, yeah, but I'm a supporter. You won me over as a fan. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll fuck with you, old DDD. It's about to go, go crazy. We're going to take a break real quick. We're going to show them what I'm talking about, all right? Yo, Money Gang DD Smile Video is off the DDF Baby album. This is Will Gates and Studios. I'm right here. Turn me up records. We're going to be right back. <laughs> On my teeth, bitch, look at my smile I know these niggas was happy when I was down But I ain't been broken in a while uh, Sound like money, cause I got the gold girls in right now I keep on chasing my flow around Cause they keep taking my style Gotta admit it, money gang set the tone This whole sound I own I been doing this shit for too long Been sounding like I'm on And I feel bad for any nigga that ever did me wrong Cause I swear to God, I'ma hurt they feelings And that's what every song And we back Right here on Drop the Heat. AN Studios, your boy Will Gates. Money Gang Diddy to the left of me. You already know what's going on. DDF Baby on all platforms. <laughs> Real quick, I got a question for you. I got a question for you, Diddy. What do you see yourself in the next five years, bro? Next five years, I wanna <clears throat> I wanna <clears throat> I wanna have been able to put me, my brother, my brother beam. My girl, all in better uh, business positions where we could all just feed our family, be comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I'm working on now. Like when I be having these meetings with these label people and these. So you had meetings before. You've had meetings with labels already. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm in the, the offices with the CEOs, but you know, it's yeah. many different departments and yeah. people that work in a label, yeah. for a label, or something like that. You know? Many steps. It's baby steps, man. Yeah. So I've been. You know, talking to a lot of business people. Whenever I'm in there, I'm talking about us. I'm telling them about the artists we have, the producers we have, photographers we have, videographers we have, mm -hmm. clothing people who do like clothing, graphic artists. Mm -hmm. I'm telling them about us as a team. Like, forget yeah. signing one person. Yeah. You get a empire with us. Like, you feel me? That's what I be on. Like, I don't be I don't be in these offices trying to just be like, yo, just sign money, game, Didi. Like, that's not what I'm on. It's a yeah. thousand million artists. So, you know, that's that's really my goal, just to be able to uh. Put all of us in a better position to just take care of our families and win, like as a team. All right. Cause all of all of us is like the Power Rangers, and then you know they come together, they built that one big monster, whatever you want to call it. Like that's what it is with us. Why do it all separate when everything we do go hand in hand? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the music go with the fashion, and the fashion music go with the photography and everything else. So that's what we want. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. Yo, talk about talk about Quentin Gilmore real quick, man. He's been on. He's been on. Drop the heat. Shout out to my boy Quentin Gilmore. He's wilding, been wilding with the. <laughs> you feel me? And the rapping, he's going crazy. Talk about. That. I know that's your brother right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my little brother, my real blood brother. For those of y'all who don't know, um, Q is Q, my favorite rapper. I think he's amazing. I think he's one of the most like versatile artists. Um, that in music period, forget about just Mount Vernon or New York. Yeah. Like, I think when he does get to that level with the machine behind him, he's gonna shock the world. I feel like, I feel like he's like the new Drake in a sense. Not that he sounds like Drake, but he he got, he has all the elements that Drake has. Drake, Q could rap for real, like really spit bars, mm -hmm. and then he also can make like fun, energetic hits, and then he also could give you the songs for the girls, the auto tune, and all that. So. Um, yeah, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of everything he's doing. He's building a studio right now. You know, yeah, he's next up for sure. Real quick, I'm sorry I gotta cut this short. Niggas about to go shoot another music. Yo, I'm on the move today, y'all. It's going crazy. Before we get out of here, man, let me ask you one more question, bro. Money Gang Didi, 
Are you gonna make that like a brand one day where everybody's gonna like buy your clothes, buy your buy your merchandise? That whole that whole brand money gang diddy. It needs to be something bigger than just you. I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a documentary and everything based off of that, based off of the name where it comes from. You know, as you see, I don't have a group called Money Gang, like, but I was in a group called Money Gang. So we're gonna make it big. I might change my name to DDF Baby. I don't know. You feel me? Like I, I might brand. I'm gonna brand it all. I'm a walking brand. You feel me? <laughs> Let's do it. If somebody come stamp me. Somebody come sponsor me. We need some sponsorships over here. Hey yo, hey yo. We about to get out of here. Stream money, money gangs, DD, DDF baby. All all streaming platforms. You feel me? Go see Smile. Go see Nightmares. All the music videos on all streaming platforms. Money gang, DD to the left of me. Anything you want to say before you get out of here? Oh yeah. Let me say first of all, fuck you, cause you just curved me on the dab. You feel me? Number one. I just tried to dab my son up. He just dubbed me, passed me the mic like a soul business. <laughs> nah, I fuck with you. I fuck with you. So love. Um, what I want to say is. Oh yeah, what video you ain't tell him to go watch is me and Q song SMD. If you hating on me and the guys SMD, that's all I'm gonna say. Check that video out. <laughs> Money gang, DD, I appreciate this, sis. I holla at you. Easy.